go with praise to the Most High. First and foremost, all praise to the Most High. First and foremost, all praise to the Most High. Scrap, stay woke, close your eyes as a boy. Open your eyes as a man, keep your mind on your money. Ugh. You know, always keep a swivel head, I'm back at your service. I don't know why every time I make a video, it's like I yawn. When I talk about God or trying to give information, man, the devil be trying to work, man. He be working, man. But, um, here today I want to, um, today I want to tap in on, um, how a lot of us so-called black men, we was raised, we was raised in a single parent home and a lot of our mothers trained us to be weak and to be submissive to women. And like I tell y'all all the time, bro, it's like we've been lied to. You understand? When you're young, like I told you, your mother punish you. Your mother beat you. Your mother cook for you. Your mother do all these things because nine out of, eight out of ten times, the father's not around in the so-called black community. You understand? So now you're being raised by your mother. You understand? Your mother raised you. Your mother, like I said, she disciplined you. She do all these things to you, and it's all to set you up to be weak. Because your mother don't tell you about female nature. And once your mother, if your mother ever told you about female nature, then you'll be 10 steps ahead of the game. And if she was to tell you about female nature, then she would have to tell you about herself. And we all know that the female that never admit to the acts that they commit. We all know that. You understand? So your mother's not going to tell you all the one night stand she had. Your mother's not gonna tell you how many dudes she gave head to. You understand? Whether it was in a car, after a club, no matter no matter where and when was it. She's not gonna tell you these things because now she don't want you to look at her any different way. And the same thing with chicks. When you meet a chick, she's not gonna tell you her resume, what she did and what she didn't do. So she wants you, she wants you to be that, she wants you to think she's that angel that she portrays to be. Same thing with our mothers, our grandmothers and our aunts and all that. They don't teach us about women. We're talking about fathers with the fellas. So now if your mother yelling at you, screaming at you, you understand, and disciplining you, that already keep you in a submissive state. And if it been going on for decades, and decades and decades, is already embedded and planted in your brain. So now, for instance, when a guy finally deal with a chick and he live with her, nine out of ten times, you, most guys did anything for their mother and they still do anything for their mother. Most dudes. You understand? So now, when your mother tell you to go to the store, we had to go to the store. We couldn't tell our mother no. When our mother, anything our mother, yo, moves this furniture, anything our mother told us to do young, we had to do. So your mother already set you up for the women in the future. Cause now what happens is like you reliving, you reliving everything that your mother taught you, right? Most most guys live with a girl. It's not the other way around. Let me say that again. Most guys live with a chick. You understand? Cause nine out of ten times, dudes don't get their own apartment unless somebody pass away, or unless they share in the rent, or unless you understand they got a hookup. The government always give women things because society put women on a plateau so it look like they do more than us. So they qualify female for Section 8 and all kind of things and we won't qualify for nothing. We, we got to work and get our credit together and do X, Y, and Z. Women could get Section 8 with bad credit. They could get Most women don't even... You understand? Most, not all. Most of them don't have good credit you understand and we know us when we young our mothers mess up our credit young because how many times as a youth your mother put phone bills and cable bills in your name and you like 10 barely could work so the thing I'm saying to you is that a lot of this was like programmed within us to get in relationships and to treat our significant others as if they was our mother. Think about it with the money. 
yo, can I get this and that? When your mother asks you for something, you give it to her. You understand? So, there's a lot of things where... Excuse me. There's a lot of things where a lot of us are indoctrinated. We never had a chance to be men. And that's why I make these videos so the youth and the younger guys can have a chance to be a man and have a chance to be a kid. You know what I'm saying? It's just all about having a chance. A lot of us, we didn't have a chance. We had to go with what was said. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, again, we was in a single parent home, so we couldn't talk back to our mother. we get slapped up. So these are all tactics that all these scientists and these psychiatrists and psychologists, they came up with all these things for us to be indoctrinated. You understand? By our women. And this is why it's never 100% respect. Anytime a girl deal with you, it got to be on according to how much you make. What are you driving? How many houses you got? How many businesses you got? This is in the so-called black community. You understand? Where's the love? So, a lot of y'all dudes that's in relationships now. It's like that's your third. That's it. A lot of a lot of us, including myself, we in our third and fourth motherhood. Meaning is that once your mother, once you leave your mother house, you go into your second mother. Once you leave, once you break off that chick, you go to your other mother house. So God's living in third and fourth motherhood. You understand? And then when you live with your mother, when you get a certain age, you gotta work. You gotta pay bills. Ain't nobody living with a chick right now. Whether you're looking at my video or not. And any of y'all looking at this video right now is living, that's living with a chick rent free. And if you are living with a girl, either she has Section 8 and you ain't on the lease, but it's all a game, bro, for control mechanisms. That's it. Just like your mother. When you lived in your mother house, right? How many y'all guys that's only how many times your mother told you to get out? Get out. You don't got to be here. Oh, you want to be rude to me? Get out my house. You don't got to be here. Leave. So now when you deal with a chick, how many times chicks done kicked you out? What? You don't need to be in my house. You can leave. You can get out. So it's all an indoctrination game. Women, it's all one way. Y'all see how all dogs bark? It's different type of dogs, but all dogs bark. Same thing with women. You understand? They all move the same way. Some of them know how to move strategically, but when it all boils down to it, they get the same results. No matter where you go and what you do, whether you're Spanish, black, whoever it is. It all boils down in the, you understand it, in the same boat, everything, when it comes to them, it's all one, in our so-called community, because this is a program that they put into their minds for them to think one way. So y'all dudes got to wake up, man, and just pay attention, man. Just put God first, man. If you're not really too good with women, just put God first, bro, because... 95% of men is naive by women's sexual nature. Let me, let me rephrase that again. Or well, let me back it up again. 95 of men are naive to women's sexual nature. And women know that. That's why they use that against y'all to get what they want and get what they need. So y'all got to be on point, man, and pay attention, man. For real, because... Like I said again, a lot of this behavior that we've been through is all learned behavior, man. And like I tell you guys over and over again, you got to do what you got to do, man. And you got to be on point. And everything I'm talking about, listen to these videos, pay attention, man. God going through me to go through y'all just to keep y'all on point. Even like some of y'all sons, just to keep y'all on point. So you don't got to get hurt or you don't got to go through things. You're going to go through things, but... It's like now you're going through it. You're going into the situation on a masculine point of view, and that's the whole goal. Women like to water your masculinity down for you to go in there blindfolded. Y'all understand? So I'm just giving y'all information, a lot of y'all young dudes information for how to move. Leave chicks alone. If you're going to deal with chicks, make sure you got your stuff together, bro. Your own crib, car, your work. You understand? Because now if things if things don't work out, you got your own. And that's the whole goal. The whole goal is what if. You got to have your own. 
And I said a lot of females don't teach you. They teach you to depend on other women. And then dependent just means I want to control you. That's all I want to do is come home and they parole to their girl houses. It's like you got two paroles. Parole officers. You got the one that you check in, that you see. And you got the other one that you live with. And as soon as you get out of line, they're going to pack you all the way up. So just stay on point, fellas. And you do what you got to do, man. Put God first and keep being amazing, man. Don't let these people trick you, man. Don't let these dreams trick you. And just stay on point, man. God is good, man. Keep being a great. Keep being great. A man salutes, man. Scrap, stay woke. Close your eyes as a boy. Open your eyes as a man. Keep your mind on your money. And always keep a swivel head, man. A million salutes, man. Happy Monday. I had a long, long weekend, man. Long weekend, but I'm blessed. I'm happy. God God is great. God is amazing. We all fall short and we all make mistakes. Keep being great. I love all my guys, my kings. Keep being amazing, man. And keep acting godly, moving godly, acting kingly. Just like the king you are. All right, peace and blessings, man. All praise of the most high. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and holler back, man. Peace and blessings.